Week 5 of Defiance build upon what happened last week. Emotions really poke through from major characters like Zavala, who grieves at a memorial. Mara's words of encouragement and emotion with her brother Crow, and the trouble he's having dealing with Amanda's death. Welcome Guardians, today we recap Week 5 of Season of Defiance. This week, there's not anything too crazy gameplay-wise, but story-wise, characters are having a super hard time reacting and coping with Amanda's sudden death in last week's story. We first start at the helm, where Devram speaks about this situation. Is it worth fighting anymore? He felt like he should just give up, but then he realized that he can't. Not because Mara knighted him Queen's Guard or he works with the Vanguard, but because Amanda was strong and this is what she would have stood for, protecting others, what she would have wanted. Guardian, I woke up this morning and looked out across the grey mists of Trostland and I've got to tell you, my heart just wasn't in it. I didn't want justice or revenge. It wouldn't bring her back. I felt tired. I didn't want to fight anymore. But then, out in the distance, I spotted a deployment of Shadow Legion moving through the fog, pushing a group of prisoners before them. It's not about me. It's about them. So I picked up my rifle, and I got to work. We've got to fight on. Not just because we're in the Vanguard, or Queen's Guard, or because we're heroes, or all that rot because it's what Amanda would have done. And that's good enough for me. After this, Devram sends us out into the battlegrounds. It's a normal battleground gameplay-wise, nothing really new here, but upon finishing that, you are prompted to head to the farm. If you thought last week's Zavala moment was emotional, this one gets even deeper. A memorial for Amanda stands amongst the trees as Zavala mourns. Amanda had one life, and she used it to save us. We've all died countless deaths. But we still only feel loss from the outside in. Holiday. She died doing what was necessary to protect the people of the city. She didn't do it out of obligation or circumstance. She knew it had to be done and she believed in it to the end. She had one life, and she used it to save us. She set an example for us all. I... I don't know what else to say. Amanda, I would give my light, my last life, if it would bring her back. I've begged before. It's a false hope, a lie. At every loss, the traveler is silent. Each path I take leads me to a grave. Kade, Sophia, Hakim. I failed them all. I love you, Amanda. I am so proud of you. Forgive me. So, just wow, right? Zavala has struggled at certain times over the last couple of seasons. Think back to Haunted when he was dealing with the nightmare of Sophia and his son. And I am speaking his words. He knows what he is. A hollow man leading others to die. 
for a silent god. Enough. Guardian, bring the commander back before any more damage is done. Hey, commander. How you holding up? I've been better. Sounds like you have too. Yeah. Pretty tore up inside. Any little thing sets me off. Might have said some hurtful stuff to somebody who didn't deserve it. We've all been at our worst. When we're hurt, when we're afraid, we all fall apart. Feels like I'm held together by duct tape and spit lately. The last few weeks have opened up some old, old wounds. Reminded me of important people I've lost. My wife, my son. Yeah, yeah, I know that kind of hurt. Other way around though. I still think about my folks, but I, uh, I can't really remember their voices anymore. I can't remember Hakeem's voice either. I try. I try so hard. You want to tell me about him? Your wife? Someday. Not today. Not yet. Want some company down in your office anyway? We don't have to talk. Maybe we just sit. I'd like that. Thank you, Amanda. Ain't nothing. It's what family does. And here he questions himself once again. The Traveler is silent each time someone dies. In every path Zavala takes, someone close to him dies, like Kate, he says. Amanda's death is tough on Zavala, and it makes you wonder what Bungie has planned for him over the coming seasons. How will Zavala deal with these emotions? Lance's delivery in these lines is just amazing. And although Commander Zavala is the commander and leader of the city, he too has his own struggles and grieves himself. He's just as human as these other characters. Heading to Mara after this moment, she speaks about this. One cannot hear Zavala's words and remain unmoved. That man has borne suffering enough for many lifetimes. That is the price we pay for opening our hearts. And as the voice in the darkness extends its reach, we know only that few will finish this journey with us, for the path is long. As the nebulae whirl and billow above us, we remain. We endure. This is our privilege. Our duty. And our curse. Take heart, Guardian. Know that we will endure together. In the terminal, Mara and Crow speak to each other. Mara wants Crow to open up to her. She says she cares about him, and she can see this anger or want for revenge over Amanda's death, that they should bond together. Crow. What do you want? I wish to speak with you. I don't have time for this. Or for you. We've all lost someone dear to us. If you mean me, you don't show it. I wanted to, but I held my heart so closely that I smothered it. I don't want to see you do the same. You don't know me. Stop talking like you do. I know how we grieve. It is raw and violent. I know we believe that keeping others away from it will protect them. But we don't do it to protect them. We do it to protect ourselves. We do it because it is easy. Nothing about this is easy. You didn't know her. Then tell me who she was. She was... She was a sunrise. Grieve its setting. Do not turn your grief to armor. Let us spare you through it. I'll try. I know you will. So, Guardians, there you have it. Some pretty emotional story moments this week. 
This is the end of the seasonal quest step, and I'm sure there's gonna be some type of finale at the end of the season where Crow gets his revenge or, you know, some type of mission, something like that. But this is what we have currently. Many questions still remain involving the Shadow Legion and these darkness prisons on Earth, and how this all plays into the Witnesses' plan. But if you'd like to see some more Destiny lore and mysteries just like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.